Hello and welcome to episode 6 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Now in the last episode, well, we hit a bit of a purple patch for the first time really this series. Had two wins and a draw in the last three games. And that sees us now climbing up to the heady heights of ninth in the league. And today we play Lens, who are in third. And uh, yeah, things could all change today. They could absolutely all change. Before we get into it, though, uh, a lot of you have pointed out. So we we're looking for players maybe to sign because we are coming into the back end of November now. So uh, yeah, transfer window not far off. And we are looking for an auxiliary striker, someone to fill in when Dory just can't quite manage it. And one of the players suggested by uh, a lot of you, I mean, at least three people independently of each other, mentioned that Koyalipu, the 17-year-old Chamin Nortois, is, uh, is seriously one of the finds of Pez this year. Zero chances of signing, and that's going to be tricky. He's 69 overall rated, uh, 1.5 million market value, 1.7 release fee. But if we look at his stats, you're going to be blown away. 86 finishing for a 17-year-old. This is a quirk of the stats, no doubt about that. Obviously, if this was real, then he'd be one of the top finishers in the world. So either the scouts or whoever's compiling the data know something we don't, or it's a, or it's a bit of an exaggeration. He's pretty quick as well. Good strength on the ball. Uh, he's got every attribute necessary to turn into an absolute world beater. 78 low pass as well. So he could link up play pretty nicely. His ball control and dribbling, they're going to need some work. But other than that, he has got everything you'd want in a striker. So we'll add him to the list. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to sign him now, but long term, he's got to be a target. Okay, so with that out of the way, nothing more to do than get into our first game. We really need to keep the momentum going from the last three. Let's see how everyone's doing. Zagadu continues to improve. Bernardoni, the Don, is on a blue, as is Ferroborodori, who is in blistering form at the moment. Big Frank, well, he's been performing nicely, as has Wellington in the last episode. They're starting to show a little bit more of what we need from them. Uh, in Chan, we're still yet, in, yet to find the best from... But everyone else is doing pretty decently. Let's have a look at Lons, who are doing well in the league. They're in third. Well, there's a lot of uh, lot of midfielders to work our way around. Nothing, nothing really terrifying me here. Um, let's come on, let's keep this going. Come on, lads. So more often than not, it is the case in Master League that the first couple of spots they'll run away with the league. They won't lose very many. So we've got to be in that bracket as well. We cannot be affording losses. Draws, that's fine. A single point is going to be much more valued, valuable to us than none. Uh, another one for you maths fans there. But uh, yeah, it's the big teams like this that we need to keep the pressure on. And uh, hopefully we can perform as well as we did in the last episode. Let's get into it. Come on. Come on, Wellington. Let's see those fancy feet. Decent ball in. That's the way can't get near Fortune. First time, second time, can't get there. Oh, no. Oh, we've seen that before. Long ball from Bernardoni. Looking for Dory. Gets the head on into Encham. That's really nicely done there. Dooley looks up for the first time. Ball out to Wellington. That's going to be over here. No, it's not. The Brazilian sneaks in. Low ball in. Dory was there. It was maybe not the right choice. So nearly made its way through, though. Oh, it's a mistake from Belgard. And Cham can't quite profit from it. But he's managed to nick that one away. Looking for options here. Dory's made a run. The chip ball into him. Dory will poke it past. Douchebag in goal, and we're a goal up here. And that's very similar, I think, to the first goal we scored in one of the games in the last series, in the last episode even. In Cham, well, he uh, showed good play, industrious stuff in the centre to win it back. Not once, but twice. He knew there were no options. Held on to it well. Dory made the run through, and then it's an outside of the boot flick. And Dory with an, uh, it's an unconventional finish. Sort of an Eric Cantona-esque kung fu kick. That's nicely weighted, though. And Cham, well, we've decided he's not a goal scorer, but if he can set up goals like that, that's, that's got uh, Kung Fu written all over it. And we're ahead here at home. Somehow Nem missed out on that one. Fortune, edge of the box, will find Zubir. He gets away from Fojo with a good turn. Another easy take, though, for Bernardoni, who's on a blue arrow today, so he'll take those sort of opportunities all day. Dory will jump. Lovely little flick on into Fojo. Round the corner into Frank Honorat, who's in great scoring form at the moment. Steps back inside. On a rat now. Looks to hit it with the left foot. Sham Tom does enough. And the clearance comes away. Fortune now. Zagadou's on him straight away. That's a foul, but the referee says play on. But we held him up well enough there to prevent the counter. Bostock slips it into Fortune. He's looking very isolated at the moment, but he finds it back to Bellegarde. And now Dankler down the right-hand side for Lons. But that is half-time here. And, uh, yeah, well, it's been a very comfortable half. There's not been really any good football from either side, to be honest. But we'll take that 1-0 lead into the half. 
and that'll do us just fine. Yeah, Lons, uh, they've had more efforts on goal, but they've all been straight at Bernardoni. Absolutely no issues for the keeper. Um, well, all we need to do is keep this lead. I think we need a little bit more quality. Uh, maybe try and spread the ball out to Wellington then, who uh, does tend to be the catalyst for uh, for all the good stuff that we've done in the last few games. So we'll see if we can do that a little bit more. Lons looking to start off the half well, and that's some uh, crisp passing there. Find its way out to Dankler. He goes inside to Lemos. Founds the ball inside. That's a good looping ball there. Frojo does well to get it away, but it's not clear. Honorat gets a foot in. Still not clear, though. That's a nice ball inside to Fortune. He looked to turn away from trouble. Zagadou gets the tackle in. And that's a great ball into Honorat. We'll go first time into Dory. Shit. Oh, it's really sloppy so far in this second half. No one able to get any meaningful touches on it so far. Oh, and champ. Oh, Dory, strength to get that away, and he needed it. Can he retain possession here? Yes, that's really nicely done. Difficult thing to do there. Good hold-up play there from the big man. Now Masawema. Looks outside to Wellington Nem. Oh, the turn. It's beautiful away from Lemos. Now we'll whip a ball in. On a rat's there, looking for the header. Great work from Nem. That's what we said we wanted. A little bit more from the Brazilian. 68 minutes in, and it's been a disappointing half again from both sides. Uh, we've not really been able to capitalise on the one goal lead. And uh, Lons have been putting some good pressure on. That's a great ball into the box. Fontaine comes across with a really well needed tackle. And Cham, good pressure. We want to see from the midfield. That's a little space has opened up though. Good effort there. Just wide. Best effort of the half there for Sham, Tom and Lons. Well, they could easily get back into this. This one goal lead is looking precarious at best. So with uh, only eight minutes left, we'll give Ferribori Dori a rest. This has been... Uh, a really disappointing game. But if it wasn't for his goal in the first half, it would be uh, significantly more disappointing. And Dai will go out onto the right, and then Honorat will get a go up front. A few of you wanted to see that, uh, as have I. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does. Get in the box, Zagadou. What the fuck are you doing out there? It's Bostock to put this one in. Zagadou can head her away, and then Masawema can get it into Nchamp. Oh, that's not the ball. That was not the ball I wanted. No. Get it away. Shot comes in. Easy save for Bernardoni in the end. Some risky defending there. Masuema. Back to Saavedra. Oh, pins a lovely ball down the line into Nem. Will he get there? Oh, not quite, but it's the end of the game. And, uh, well, that's the sort of performance we actually needed. A disappointing game. We were probably the second best side, but we eked out a win. We dug in when necessary. And we got the three points, which is uh, a massive three points for us against third in the league, Lons, who uh, looked decent. Fortune there, the striker, he was isolated. And there were a lot of shots straight at Bernardoni like that one. And yeah, well, the stats say, oh, we only had two shots on target. One of them went in. And that's all that matters. I'm not going to read any further into this game. Dory gets man of the match. A disappointing performance from Honorat. Couldn't really get involved. But meh, meh, hey, hey, three points is three points. And luckily, shots on target do not equal points. And now we are only two points. Of second place. It's pretty crowded though. Only three points separate position two to position nine. Any good run of form at this point from any side could see them uh, yeah, looking pretty good. But equally, it's only going to take a couple of losses and this could all change quickly. So we need to continue the good form. That's, that's the key at the moment. Keep things consistent. So only three days later, we're up against Nîmes. Not sure where they are in the league, but I think they're somewhere around the bottom. Scouts come back. Interesting. Okay, so... What's the goal for the scout? Well, we're not going to have enough money. We had to send out a scout rejecting the budget because we only had, we had nothing in the budget at that point. So we had to reject. So these players are all going to be very expensive out of our budget. All that we can really hope for is a decent attacking midfielder that potentially we could trade in Cham for, which I'm not 100% sure about. So we've had a couple of attacking midfielders, but they're from, uh, they're not from real teams. And we don't deal with not real players. That's a disappointing start from the scout. Centre forwards, well, we'd have to fund a centre forward with our own money, really. Uh, and both of them are from player again from Flosk Rule. We don't want any Flosk Rule players, for God's sake. And then wingers, anything of interest? Benitez, Boca, okay, it's a bit better. Decent finisher, he's pretty quick. I mean, he's going to be 5 million, yeah, it's well out of our budget. And then the 7 million euro Roger Guedes, again, doesn't even look that great, to be honest. But yeah, well out of our budget. That's disappointing, disappointing work from the scout. 
another look at the list and basically anyone who is in the free transfer we're not going to be able to sign we'd really like to sign Diami and Koyalapu 22 year old 17 year old I mean in theory they're both only worth 1.5 million we in theory just for release fees alone if we had 3.7 million we could sign them both and they would be really really good long-term signings for us but with zero on the chance of signing that's just not going to happen okay next game next game we could have some very tired legs here only three days after what was a hard fought game not too bad dueling on a downward arrow but obviously he stays in everyone else is looking okay Zagadou's dramatic improvement has come to an end we've just seen him go up two overall rating points to 70 making him uh yeah he's turning into a tidy tidy center back already uh Neem, well they've got a decent looking 70 rated center forward but then uh, a lot 50s in midfield that bodes pretty well but a very good looking defense as well interesting so we'll try and do a bit of work in the midfield. Maybe this is one for Encham to run riot. Honorat's on a blue. He's looking to bounce back from a disappointing performance. We're up to 64. Team spirit. That's getting there. That's getting there. Definitely things starting to click a bit more, which is good. Let's go. Come on. So digging in and getting a pragmatic win at home will, uh, I'm sure, be very pleasing for the Claremont fans. Let's not forget that Karine Diacre, ex-French international centre-back, she's all about the defensive side of the game. She knows that sometimes you do have to do the dirty things. You do have to do the uh, the non-flashy stuff well to get points, to get wins. And that's what we did in the last game. Now going away from home against the bottom of the league side. Well, this is where we hopefully turn on the flare again, as we did in the last episode where we grabbed three in one game. Uh, hopefully we can uh, make the away fans happy. Let's do it. Well, they've started this game with some good passing, but they've given it away to Nem now. He's got a good ball in to Dory is on. Ferrobori, Dory with the left foot. Oh, that's a great save. Not his best finish. Decided to hit it on his weaker foot, and that did not pay off. Nice ball over the top, looking for Boades. He's got there ahead of Fontaine. That's an incredible first touch. Gets it out of his feet, and that is some finish from the Neem centre forward. Well, I don't know what we do about that. It was a good ball over the top, but Fontaine looked to have him covered. He's hit that so sweetly, Fontaine. Maybe could have got a bit closer, but you do not save that. I mean, that is some finish. Well, fair enough, fair enough. Not really much we can do about that. That's nice, that's nice. Doolin slips it into Honorat. Oh, he runs into trouble, but it will find its way through to Doolin. Looks to poke it into on Ferrobori Dory! Hey! And there he is, back in the goals. Hunky Dory. Back in the goals. And it's a lovely outside of the boot finish. We sort of had to steamroll our way through the middle there. It wasn't pretty. Honorat just about. Well, he didn't really find it back to Doolin. But Doolin, simple little flicked ball through. And that's a great finish as Dory finds the back of the net for the umpteenth time this season. He must be top scorer now. He's going for the... Uh, oh, what's golden boot in? Is or or is gold in front? I don't know. Bernadoni, long ball up, looking for Dory again. He gets his head to it really well. Now Doolin into Honorat. He's looking for the overlapping run of Fojo. Finds it. Fojo will put a ball in. It's only Nem there. Falls to Dory. Hit it with the left foot. Good block though. And they managed to get it away. Well, half time here and uh, well, Neem started well. What a finish that was from Boades. But we've uh, battled back. Showed good resilience and got the goal just about. Caesar's back in this one. We've got 45 minutes to get another three points that we desperately need. Keep the pressure on. Come on boys. And champ into Honorat. Is to turn his man and does well. Picks the ball in, looking for Dory. Take it down. Keeps it in. Oh, that was meant to go a lot earlier. Fojo, edge of the box to Encham. Gets it out of his feet. Hits it well. Good save. It had to be. Oof. Honorat does well, though. Wins it back. Steps inside. Nice ball out to Fojo. Can he get a cross in? Has to go back now. Doolin has got time. He'll whip a ball in. And Cham's there with the header just wide. Olivier and Cham still yet to open his Claremont account. Don't think it's going to be with a header. Down the line into Honorat. Steps inside now and Cham. Back heel into Masawema's delightful. Edge of the box. Masawema looks to hit one. It's great defending again from Neem. We've been really strong at the back so far. Now they go long. That's a lovely header on. Fontaine misjudges it. Boades through on goal now. Surely. Oh, Fontaine. Jesus Christ. Just about did enough there. That was awful from the defender, though. On ball. Dory looks to go up against a much smaller man, and he's won that. Nem out to Saavedra. Into Encham. Back to uh, Saavedra here. 
I look to put a ball in. Dory's there. Can he finish? No. It was a good ball in from Saavedra, but Dory just couldn't guide that one goalward. A couple of changes here. Guabur and Dai coming on for the uh, very tired Wellington Nem and Dudin also given a rest. Stalemate still. I don't really know what to do here. Neem have defended well. They've looked dangerous in attack. Dory with the header on. Into the feet of Honorat. Edge of the box now. Honorat will hit this one. Oh, I needed to get closer there. And he'll hit it long. Looking for Dory again. He's won everything in the air today. That's a nice play there from Honorat. Into the substitute, Grabert. He's going to look to run at this back line. Out to the other substitute, and Dai. Finds a nice ball into Saavedra. Saavedra now can put a ball in with the left foot. Honorat jumps for it. Oh, it falls to Grabert. Oh, the effort is straight at the keeper. That was not a good shot. I don't even know what foot he is. I'm not even sure if he's left or right footed. Ball comes through. Fontaine had set off hours before. He's not going to get there and he somehow let him get goal side. Ball comes in. No! Oh! Bernardoni. With some save to keep us in this one. And now Honorat can bring it forward. Inside to uh, in Masawema. Honorat now. Can he oh, that wasn't the ball. That was not the ball at all. Oh, and that is full time here. And we can't keep the winning streak going. But we pick up a, a valuable point on the road. After, again, not a great performance. Not a great performance at all. We had a lot more shots this time. We had more possession. But we should have gone against a weaker side. And if it wasn't for that wonder goal. Well, actually, no. They had a good few chances, Neem. We just couldn't really make it work. So not ideal. But a point on the road. That's fine. We do drop down into ninth. As we said, you're going to climb, you're going to drop a lot when everyone's so close. We've just got to, you know, not drop off too far. Ah, Ferrabori Dory's got a nickname. Excellent. And they call him the Ace. Nice. The Ace in the pack. So a nice long rest now and we're back at home against Auxerre. This is where we need to finish the episode strongly again. See if we can do what we did last time. Win, draw, win. That's fine. If we keep that up all season, then we're going to still be in the race. Come the end. So everyone doing okay. Dory on a downward arrow. The Ace. Not feeling maybe... Up to his nickname today, but... And Auxerre, well, they've got two up front. We haven't played against that for a long time. They've got some good-looking players. Looks to be a pretty strong front duo. And, uh, yeah, well-rated centre-back duo as well, and a good left-back. They're right-back. He could be uh, could be one for Wellington to have a go at, but, yeah, they all look pretty strong, and a good keeper as well. Auxerre, this could be a, this could be a challenge for us. So we seem to be having a bit of a lull here. Okay, four points in the uh, last two games is fine. The performances haven't really clicked. We haven't seen the flowing, exciting football that we did early on in the last episode anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's have a bit of that, please. So back in front of the home crowd. And they'll be uh, they'll be looking for goals. They'll be looking for fast-paced, exciting football. Nem into Encham. Down the line into Nem again. Now Saavedra back into Nem. That's great play. Ball inside. Dory with the left foot finish into the side of the goal. Thought that was in. I think a lot of the fans did as well. That's a really positive start, though, from Clermont. Good interplay. Nem into Saavedra. That's a decent ball in. Oof, would have needed a deft touch to get that in, but still, good start. Dooley into Dory. Turns his man really well. Gets the shot away. Straight into Boucher. Great centre forward there. Used his, uh, used his body well to work the shooting opportunity. Oof, Nem st steams in. That looked to be a foul, but Dory's come away with it. He's got Torre with him. Oh, lovely back heel into Nem. Low ball in. Honorat's there. Great finish. Got ahead of his man. And that was great work from Farabori Dori to find the cheeky back heel. It looked like he'd run out of space, run out of time. The move looked to be over. It was great awareness from the centre forward. And he found Wellington Nem. And it's big Frank. Pops up with another goal. And, uh, yeah, it was good play from him as well to get ahead of his man. Let's take another look at that. It was a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a tussle in the centre. We came away with it. Dory stepped back inside looking for the shooting opportunity. The back heel is beautiful. Then Honorat, well, he was alert. Got ahead of the number eight and finished well. Good start to this game. And the Claremont fans will be happy with that. That's really well played from the number nine. Just saw where the ball was going to go. Got his body in the right position and finished well on his weaker foot. Oh, Honorat, great anticipation there. He's given time to look up. Look for a ball into Dory. And Cham will hit this one. Oh, that looked to be the time to unleash the uh, unleash the rocket that I'm sure Encham has got hidden in those boots somewhere. Lovely play from Honorat, though. Win it back. Given time to cross. It came out. And Cham snatched it, though. That was uh, well wide. 
Oh, this is better here from Auxerre. Dangerous passing. And Cham misses out there. On a wrap. We'll look for the overlap. Polymat. Let's him get a ball in. Zagadou jumps for it. Great save. Fontaine, not a clearance that we're after. Masawema can't get it away, but then Cham gets a foot in. Somehow we get that away. Great save again from Bernardoni. Masawema looking for options. Dory will lay it off. That's a foul. Ref, ref. Half time, upon, oh, half time nearly upon us here, but Auxerre pushing. They're looking pretty dangerous here. Good ball looking for Yatara. Fontaine will see this one out. And that's half time here in Clermont. Well, again, not the most attractive football. But we've been a lot better, and uh, and Chan really wants a goal in this one, you can tell. Another goal early in the second half, I think could kill this one off. Easily cut out by Saavedra. Now Wellington Nem, looking to unleash the afterburners. Dory holds off the defender for him. Into Nem, slicks it into Dory with a left foot. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful finishing there from Ferrobori Dory. He's got such a range of finishes. That's what I love about him. He's an experienced centre forward. He's 28 years old. Love the way he holds off the man there. It was a bit of NBA-style blocking. And then Nem with the reverse ball on his weaker foot. And then he looked to have pulled that too wide, but he hit it low and hard with the left foot. And that doubles our advantage here, and that is a crucial goal in this game, which looked to be going either way. Great finish. So a couple of subs. We've seen a few appearances from Indai. I think this might be the first time we've seen Laporte this season. He gives Zagadou a rest. Two-goal lead here in the 76th minute. Hopefully we can hold on to this one. Should be able to. And Cham, you're meant to be powerful. It's the one thing you're meant to be able to do. It's a nice ball into Vincent. We'll take it down, but it rolls out. Oh, that's a mistake. Now Dory, can he find the right ball into Wellington Nem? It's made its way through to him. He's got away from one. Oh, it's going to find its way to Dory. And that is fortunate. Looks there had pushed a lot of players forward in the 85th minute. And we were able to capitalise on that with an easy ball over to Wellington Nem. It wasn't the best ball. Struggled to get there. Managed to cut inside. Trying to work in a shooting position, but Dory was there. Just said, thank you, I'll have that. And then he adds another to his impressive goal tally. And that sees us... Uh, yep, that's definitely us done here. Five minutes left, three goals up. Great performance at home. It's exactly what we wanted. Long ball out, looking for Barreto. So Vedra will let this one run. That's well judged. And uh, that's the end of the game. Lovely. Good. Good solid 3-0 win here at home. That's exactly what we needed. Nothing flashy. The first goal was well taken and well crafted. Um, the other two, yeah, fine, fine. They went in. They're goals. They all count. And that's probably the motto for this episode. We've grinded out the points. And Champ was being, was disappointing. Yeah, he's, he's really struggling for form at the moment. He's trying to do too much. He needs to play it more simply. Um, one of the commenters whose name I've forgotten, he said he signed in Cham and he... Said he flourished much more as a central midfielder. And I can see that. He's trying too much now. He just needs to be busy, strong in the middle of the park. And then distribute the ball to some more gifted attacking players. At the moment, he's trying to play as an attacking midfielder. And it's just not working for him. He's, he's the best we've got in that position. Unless we drop back Wellington then. But uh, yeah, we need we need to recruit there. That's, that's definitely a goal for this window. So where will that see us in the league? Up into seventh. Lovely. Still four points behind Star Prestois. And Ajaccio now, top of the league side. They've dropped points. Still eight points ahead of us, though. So they're quite far off. But we're in the mix. That's what counts. So end of the month. And Dory has bagged five. Wellington then with three assists. That's good to see. Bernardoni, he's popped up in the average rating ranking. He has been big. Every time he's been called upon, he's been quality. Honorat's grabbed two in four. That's great to see. And three wins and one draw. Well, we're happy with that. Almost all of our goals have been th from through balls. We're not crossing the ball anywhere near enough. I think that's something that we could maybe work on. Both the goals that we've conceded have been in the first 15 minutes. We maybe need to concentrate a little bit more at the beginning of the game. That's interesting. We've spread our goals out pretty well throughout the game. But yeah, first 15, we need to have our head screwed on. And in Cham, well, he's top of the dribbling, top of the passing. But I think that's mainly just the bulk of what he's doing. His percentage is the lowest. When it comes to dribbling. His passing's been okay, but he... I mean, that's what we want him for, is the passing. It's everything else that he's trying to do is what's the problem. Dory with 14 shots and 5 goals. I mean, that's not bad. 36% will take that with 14 shots. If you keep that up, that's fine. The aerial battles, though, is insane. 15 aerial battles won from the big centre forward. Kridiakra's strategy that we started with is to get those balls up to him, and it's worked. It's worked in terms of both off uh, goal kicks. It always puts us in a really strong position. But also, just when clearing the ball... 
or looking long to him in any situations is, is always a danger. Fontaine has been tackling well, and so is Encham. That's fine. That's where Encham should be. It's a shame that to get an attacking midfielder, we probably need to trade him for someone. That's the only way we're going to do that this season. Do we just try and muddle through with him? Do we maybe drop Wellington Nem into attacking midfield? That just does mean who's going to play out on the wing? Makes it tricky. If we can sign a winger, then maybe we could do that. But Wellington Nem is not a great passer. So a <laughs> good bit of uh, Claremont representation in the team in the month, and rightly so. Dooling's been excellent. He really is quality. He's one of my favourite players. And Honor Atwell, he's starting to pop up with some important goals as well. And Dooling has mastered the destroyer. Yeah, well, that, that sums him up perfectly. So we're into December now, and the scouts have come back with a little something for us. Take a look at that before the end of the episode. A few weeks now until the transfer window. Let's just see if anyone's interested in our players. So we put quite a few players on the transfer list. In fact, pretty much everyone down here, except for uh, Jalabi, who we can't afford to sell because he's our backup left back. A few in for Loppy as well. He does not get a sniff at the moment. And then die as well. I mean, we could maybe scra scrape together two million. Which might be enough for sort of mid-range player from the scouts. So, centre forward. Is there any of these real players? That's the key here. Migone, Patronato. Oh, that's a real team. Argentinian. 21-year-old. Decent finisher. Average all-round stats. How much do they want from 3.6 million? Hmm. Yeah. Not really floating my boat there. Attacking midfielders, Adam Lambert. Yeah, we can't sign him. Espio Norte. Got a great spread of stats. It's a shame he's not a real player. And then finally, any wingers that we can look at? This guy with a cool name. Oh, he's, he's too highly rated for us. I think 75 is our limit at the moment within Cham being our highest rated player. He can play anywhere up top. Great finish. I mean, he's quality. He's going on the list. Can't sign him now, but one day we might be able to. He's quick as well. 24 years old, 5 million, 13 million euros, okay, forget that, forget that, oh well. So still nothing from the scouts, it's looking pretty desperate. There we have it, probably a pretty speedy episode this one, we um, smashed through that pretty quickly. Dory, top of the goal rankings now with 12 goals, he is what is holding this side in the position that they are. Without him we would be struggling now I think, although some of the other players are starting to pitch in. And uh, yeah, seventh in the league, that's fine. We're slowly creeping our way up. We've just got to stay there or thereabouts. And uh, yeah, hopefully end of the season we can pick up a bit of form. Hopefully we can do something in January, but it's not looking that promising at the moment. The scouts have been letting us down and there's just nothing really on the list or even looking at the advanced search that I've been able to find. There's players there that we could sign, but they're all on zero chance of signing. Just no one wants to move in January, obviously. There's not much we can do about that. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>